I'm Dan Pashman. I experiment in the kitchen, like that doctor who gave that guy a pig heart. I'm Liza DeGia. I love food, family, and I won't hesitate to cut a bit. Each episode will go head to head in a completely arbitrary cooking challenge. To see who wins, sometimes just gotta go with it. Oh! And who gets foiled? This, this is, is Food on Face Off. Today we're outside a supermarket. We're gonna pick a number out of a hat. Whatever number we pick is the only aisle we're allowed to shop in. And we're gonna run into the supermarket and we have five minutes to grab what we can and head back to the kitchens to cook one entree and one dessert. Oh my gosh. It looks like the cereal aisle. <laughs> For savory, you need like a base. I need a base. Oh, corn muffin mix. Oh, oh, corn muffin mix, mix, mix. Need eggs and milk. I don't have those things. I need a method to my madness. Marshmallows. Yeah, yay nay. I don't know. Sardines. Masa. I can work with this. I don't need the cornbread mix. I can use the masa. this out. Bam, bam, bam. I saw some stuff back down at the other end that I think is gonna totally... I saw fried onions down there. Now, if Liza doesn't take the fried onions, it, she, I mean... I'm gonna try to pull a semi-healthy card. <laughs> in all of this. My guess is that Liza is underestimating me. I, I guess Liza thinks she's gonna win with healthy food. I, you know, I don't know who she thinks is judging this competition. I mean, I, I can tell you it ain't Gaia Earth Mother, all right? It's humans with taste buds. I came in ready to take Dan down. And I think he just kind of woke up this morning and was like, hey, I got a cooking show to cook off for. But no, not my house. I am not afraid to take risks. I am willing to combine ingredients that not only has no one else combined them, but I haven't combined them. I don't know, I truly don't know. Um, you're supposed to mix this with milk, which I don't have. So I'm going to mix it with water and see what happens. I seriously think Dan was just kind of playing with his food. Tropical tie-dye is not a flavor, but I thought it might be visually striking. Liza shows up with her with her own shopping bags and she's all Miss uh, Natural Sea Salt, Organic, blah, blah, blah. And then she whips out the Spam. I grew up on Spam, I love Spam. Might be the worst processed meat for you, but for me, it's like striking gold. I'm gonna put a Pop-Tart into a toaster. It's a really special technique he learned. His lazy ass was sitting around watching me cook my brains out while he was just opening boxes and dumping stuff in bowls and putting them all together and calling that cooking. It did melt. It did melt. I better get another one. Look, it's true that after the taping was over, I ate most of that dessert that she made. But you want to know who knows that it's a good idea to cover Rice Krispie Treats with Nutella? my two-year-old. Hello, guys. I am presenting to you my sardine surf and spam turf grits. Oh, good. So I flavored my tempura rice krispies and then rolled the sardines in them and fried them in the spam fat and a nice drizzle of something sweet at the end. I really like sardines. Um, I like the sweet savory combination. I like the soft and the crunchy. We dodged a bullet because I don't know if you know this, but I am I'm allergic to aisle five. Hello there, Your Honor. Your Honor. I have here for you a spicy masa pie with a jalapeno Pringle, cheddar cheese, fried onion, and walnut topping. And in lieu of a pie crust, I've used a homemade corn tortilla. I have for you curried rice, crispies, uh, because milk was not available in aisle four, I have created something called oat milk. What That's is right. oat milk? It's an oatmeal based powder, traditionally combined with, with milk to create a beverage that has five uh, vitaminas and two minerales. 
It's rare that while eating you fear if you hold it in your mouth too long, it's gonna turn into concrete, but I did get that feeling a little bit. Bonjour, judges. Basically, it's all my most favorite things I could find in aisle four in a pie. And I found that I could use the top layer of all natural peanut butter as my oil mm. base. Mm -hmm. And I made Rice Krispie treats mm -hmm. layered with Nutella, topped with salted toasted coconut and toasted hazelnuts, and drizzled with more Nutella. Mm -hmm. This is the cherry on top. It's so right now you're cherry flavored fruit, fruit loops. loops. Uh huh. Mmm. <laughs> Wow, Nutella on Nutella. It kind of made my teeth hurt, it was so sweet, but I'm not gonna say that I was opposed to that too much. Well, Your Honors, you know, anyone can cover Rice Krispie treats in Nutella and call it Christmas, <laughs> but it takes real vision to bring to the other flavors in a new way, I think. So I present to you some dessert sushi. This is a Cinnamon Toast Crunch breakfast bar. It's been wrapped in a rainbow fruit roll-up and topped with a blueberry Pop-Tart. It looked good, it, it was fun. I thought the, the composition was ambitious. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey guys. Hi judges. Hi, I'm a little nervous. Well, let's start with the entrees. You both had great ambition. Perhaps yours was even more ambitious, Dan. But I just think that we both felt that there was, maybe the masa wasn't doing what it needed to do. There was a lot of it. So dessert, um, Liza de Gia. I might start calling you Liza de Drizzler. <laughs> we did kind of give you some points for drizzling, and actually both of your dishes were very perfectly drizzled. Dan, I liked yours. I think we both liked yours. My one one note would be that uh, since it was uh, fruity on the outside and fruity on the top, might have gone with, instead of cinnamon toast, uh, a, a Fruit Loops bar. So therefore... Dan, you've been foiled. He's gonna go cry into his fruit of roll-ups. <laughs> his oat milk tears. Oat, oat milk, oat milk, oat milk tears. I was surprised. I, I thought that I had the better dishes. Just because they didn't taste as good. I mean, what? L4 is not my forte. So for me to like come in and uh, kinda do a clean sweep of the judges. I mean, I'll give her credit. Rice Krispies crust, that was clever. But no tempura. You know, I could just add fancy words to my foods too, make it sound like I did more than I did. Anyone can do that. Like what's an example? Boiled. I boiled that food. <laughs>